guys, welcome to Dressing Tammy. I am Tammy, off camera. I um, ran into a snag. And I hope you can see the little bits of crap that's all over the skirt. I washed it and I hate the feel of it now. I don't know, I don't, I have no idea. I love the feel of it when, before I washed it and now I don't like it. So Drindle's skirt is on hold. If I use this, I'm gonna have to have a lint roller Oh, good, look at it. It's just picking up everything. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. So now I'm gonna have to go back to Hobby Lobby or somewhere, I'm gonna guess Hobby Lobby, and um, pick up some more fabric. So, yeah, Drindle skirt, not gonna be done Friday. So <laughs> it might be done by Monday. But on other news, um, let me show you what I'm also working on as this fabric has disappointed me so much. Hang on, let me get Dora set up. Alrighty, so here is the bodice block that I made on the 26th of October. And I have marked my crew neckline and where I like my V-necks. So what I had thought is I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. I'm not gonna put any darts down here but rather about here, give myself a little bit of, I'm sorry, I have pencil all over my, my hands today. So I'm gonna give myself a little bit of um, seam allowance here and put some elastic in here so it'll just gather under my bust because these shirts are designed to be very short. Um, I'm not making obviously a traditional dirndl, but we're gonna get as close as we can. now. This is not going to work for what I want. So what I did is I took my block and I made, hang on, let me pin it. Okay, so here you go. I am going to take this much out and then I'm going to have it rounded right here. Now the actual red fabric part will come high on the neck and then around basically here. And then it'll come a little bit lower right to the V. Now, I've made some lines here. This is where I'm going to sew it down the center seam. But this right here, I'm gonna go ahead and clip and fold this in and then make it, you know, like my little Henley like I was talking about. So that's the ideas for that. Now, I'm gonna try to use the same idea when I go ahead and make the, um, the actual um, vest part. And so I'm gonna use this same idea just come down but i'm going to make the the vest part kind of come really low it'll probably come about right here and then up and then it'll have um, the center back collar right back here i will have that come up and down and it will actually connect so it'll kind of be rounded like this and then a center back seam and then down and it'll just connect into the shoulder here. Um, I've seen it. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it, but we're going to try it. Darn it. We're going to try it. So basically it's just the shoulder seam and then the back part, the center back comes up and the you get like a little high neck in the back. And there we go. Oh my gosh. I hope I can get this done before Black Friday. I really do. But um, the skirt is already making me mad, so <laughs> we'll see. I've already got my measurements done. I've got all my measurements for the pleated apron. I'm just, like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a gathered skirt with a four inch wide waistband. So the waistband will probably come up about here where I like it, keeps me all cinched in. And um, yeah, so that's it. Oh, also, let me show you I this. found this gold. It's coming off really, really light. Um, with the lights, but it's actually the exact same color as the the gold in these flowers. It really is. Believe me, trust me. Um, and so I'm thinking about incorporating this too, um, maybe with this color and instead of black or maybe both, if I can figure out a way to layer the satin in with the black and this, and then I can do that little trim. Um, I wish I had time to make piping because that would be gorgeous. I'm thinking about also taking for the apron part and making the rip, uh, making the um, waistband for the apron out of that. This is where we are. Um, 
I hope you're not very disappointed, but I can't, I can't deal with that. Sorry about my mess here. I can't deal with that. I can't deal with that mess. I'm going to have to have a lint roller on me 24-7, and I'm not prepared to do that. So a trip to Hobby Lobby tomorrow after work, and we'll work on this on Saturday. And we'll give you an update on Tuesday. We'll see where we are, okay? Hi, guys. Just a quick pop-in after this video. I just wanted to let you know that I did stop at Hobby Lobby yesterday after work, and I got myself four yards of black broadcloth to make my dirndl skirt and we're going to work on that today i have i don't know i've seen people hand gather it i've seen people gather it with the three two stitches on their machine at the longest stitch i'm thinking for myself <laughs> um i'm just going to run a uh, very thin one eighth inch piece of elastic across it and then press it with my iron to kind of set those gathers in place just because I'm so scared that I'm going to mess up my my gathers. I don't know. So, and then I can um, use it if I if I accommodate the one eighth inch of elastic, elastic and then press it in my head. Again, you know how I am. I do everything in my head. Um, if I do that, then when I go to put the waistband on, I think I can just trim that elastic off after I've stitched the waistband you know, to the top and then just stick, clip that um, excess um, fabric away. My my gathers will be set and then I can go ahead and fold over my waistband and then finish my skirt that way. That, in my head, that's the perfect plan for me. So I don't know. But what that brought me on to say, plus a video that I just watched um, from Claire at Penguin and Pear about her jacket, which was glorious, um, I think December, because as we, as you know, we're going to be going into uh, Blair Warner Wednesday, and there's a lot of different sewing techniques that I have not done yet. And so I'm thinking of de December as my techniques month, and that means sewing in um, like um, a shirt placket, doing pin tucks, you know, doing all the things that I have never done before. Buttonholes, I don't think I've ever done a buttonhole. Like, I mean, back in 1984, apparently I did, but I don't recall ever doing it. So um, trying to get these, these things under my belt. So, and anybody who's new and, and wants to sew and who's trying to learn to sew, maybe this will kind of help you because these are things that I've never done before either. But I think I'm going to do that. Just December is just going to be technique December um, and just kind of get these things under my belt, get more familiar with them, get um, less anxiety toward them so that when we go into a 2020, I, I can feel more confident in these techniques without having to rely on making an entire garment, just doing the techniques. So just wanted to pass that along and that's it. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Hopefully we'll have um, Tuesday's video. We'll have a completed skirt, completed apron, and then we'll just go from there, okay? I don't want to push myself too hard and I don't want to disappoint you guys too much because I'm already disappointing you with not having my skirt done. So, okay, um, I'll see you guys next week. Have a great weekend. Bye.